Hello everyone! Welcome to this video where I will be showing you how to use Poetry, a Python package manager which is a replacement for pip. It can also be used to manage your virtual environments when developing locally. The reason why you might want to use something else other than pip is the way it manages dependencies. With pip, you will sometimes encounter issues when a dependency of a dependency changes and there is some sort of incompatibility between some of your dependencies. The way Poetry solves this is by creating a log file with all of your dependencies together with their dependencies and their versions, but at the same time keeping your main dependencies in a different file. So I've personally encountered this issue in production, so in a continuous deployment environment, we had updated something in one of our Python files, which was insignificant. It had not changed any of the Python versions. However, when it was installing all the Python versions, because they were not being installed from a log file, a dependency of a dependency had changed and the whole production environment had broken. So we had to pin down the specific dependency that was causing the issue to a specific version to solve that. With poetry, this would have never happened. So I suggest that you use something that logs your dependencies, and in this case, poetry is a great solution. So without any further ado, let's jump into the project, install poetry, and I'll show you how you use it. So if we navigate to pythonpoetry.org, so let's navigate here. Here we have documentation, we're gonna click on introduction, and here on the left, installation. So here we've got two ways of installing it. And if you're on Linux, Mac OS, or you're using the Windows subsystem for Linux, you can use this command. If not, and you're on Windows PowerShell, you can use this command here. So I'm on Mac, so I am going to copy this command here. I'm gonna navigate back to my ID and open my terminal. So here I'm gonna paste this and I've already got it installed, but if, you're, if you don't have it, it will get installed, okay. So the way we start is we wanna run poetry in it. So we're gonna run poetry in it and this will help us create a pyproject.toml file, which is our dependencies file. So we're gonna name the package poetry python tutorial. So I'm gonna leave this as the default, leave the default version. I'm gonna say here a poetry tutorial. Okay, I'm gonna leave the author as default. The license here is if you have an open source license or similar, you can add that here. And here it's picking up that I'm using 3.10 on my machine, so it's suggesting that I use that. I'm gonna add that. And then here I'm gonna say yes to define my dependencies interactively. So I'm gonna say flask. And here we've got a list. Zero is the one I want because here we've got flask. And here I'm gonna leave this to use the latest version. Okay, it's, it's, it's determined that that's 2.2.3. So I'm gonna press enter. And here it's asking for the development dependencies. I'm gonna say yes. And here I'm gonna add a project. So I'm going to say PyTest. Okay, that, okay, zero is PyTest. So yeah, this is what we need. And we're gonna leave the latest version. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't need to, and yes, we are gonna confirm the generation. So I'm gonna close my terminal and here we see pyproject.toml, which is the file I was talking about. So here we can see our main dependencies, which is Python 3.10 and Flask, which is 2.2.3. And here we can see our development dependencies. Here we can see the authors, the description, the version, the name, and here are some build system requirements for poetry. You don't need to worry about this here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna activate our environment. So we do that by running poetry shell. And that has activated our environment. 
So we can list all of our environments by doing poetry env, okay? And here we're gonna say list. So here we can see that we only have one virtual environment, which is 3.10 and it's activated. If you wanted to add another one, you would do poetry and then env, and then you'd say use, and then I could say Python 3.9, but I'm not gonna do that. And if you wanna remove your environment, you can say poetry env remove and specify a specific uh, version or just leave it to blank as Python and that uh, we'll remove it. But for now, I'm not gonna do that. And we're gonna move on to our next command. So what we'll do here is we want to install our dependencies. So we're gonna say poetry install. Okay, so now it has written to our poetry.log file and installed our dependencies. Uh, in my case, I had them installed, but if you haven't, it will install them. Okay, here I'm going to say poetry add, and here we can add any, um, any dependency of Python. In this case, I'm going to say um, flask, SQL Alchemy. Okay, and now it's uh, installing the dependency and adding it to our list of files. So here it is. Um, so yeah, that's how you add a dependency. If I wanted to remove a dependency, I would do poetry remove. And then I would say, in this case, I'm gonna remove flask SQL Alchemy. and it's removing it, and it's removing it from our file as well, which is what we want. Now, if you want to uh, look at your um, poetry uh, version of your project, in this case, we've got 0 0.1.0, you can run poetry version, okay? And here we've got the version, which is 0 0.1.0. If you wanted to change that uh, version uh, within the Poetry CLI, you would do Poetry version, and then you'd specify the version. Let's say I wanted to bump this up. I would say 0 0.2.0, and this is bumping it up. And here it's changed. Uh, you might want to do this in your CI CD pipelines, when you're uh, deploying your application, you might want to bump up the version, but that's totally up to you. Um, and yeah, this is exactly how poetry works. If we do, if we check here, um, we've got our pyproject.toml, our poetry log, and yeah, this is all you need to know to start using poetry. So. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. We will keep using poetry in um, our later videos. So that's why I wanted to make this video to help you get started with poetry. And uh, yeah, enjoy it in your production applications or any of your side projects that you might be building. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to this channel. It helps a lot grow the channel. And I will come back with another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.